Alabama camp meeting, our heritage. And I am standing on the very spot where J.W. Buckaloo, that uh, legend of a man in the history of the Church of God, came and put up a tent and had a Holy Ghost revival. The move of God was so great that they came in and burned the tent where Brother Buckaloo was conducting the revival. They put Brother Buckaloo in jail. There is a building across the street that you see that uh, housed the jail in that day. The mayor let Brother Buckaloo out of jail and he came back over to this site and he organized the Alabama City Church of God. This was in 1910 and it was the second Church of God in the state of Alabama. And as I stand here today, I have in the background the Cathedral of Praise Church of God. It has a tremendous history. This is the former Alabama City Church. It was located about two blocks from here and was there until 1990. And when they moved to this site, they changed the name to Cathedral of Praise. When we finished the revival over at the other location in the tent, we purchased land here. We were able to move over here and build a new facility in order to accommodate the growth of the Alabama City Church. And on this location, we had several camp meetings, just as we're having here in Birmingham this year. In fact, the camp meeting started in about 1918 here. And camp meetings have always played a major role in everything that happens in our state. Today I have Brother E.J. Reynolds with me, and he pastored this church, the Alabama City Church, longer than any other pastor that has been here. Thank you for joining me, Brother Reynolds, today. And I want you to share some of the significance of this location because you pastored here for many years, and I'd like for our people to hear from you. Yes, this church uh, on this location has had a dynamic ministry, and many prominent preachers of the Church of God have pastored here. And these buildings, uh, the various buildings that have been here, the first building, a white building that was uh, here, a weatherboarded building, and then following that building, Brother A.L. Burroughs did the uh, brick building that was built here. And this building, we remodeled it during the 12 years that I was privileged to be pastor here. And so I would say that the Alabama City Church of God has had a dynamic ministry in the Church of God and uh, am very happy to have had the privilege to be a part of the ministry of the whole state and, of course, to have a part of the ministry of this local church. Well, we love you and appreciate what you have contributed at this site to the history of Alabama.